So if you're asked to balance this equation, you first should note that everything here is soluble. That means everything is going to dissolve in water. It'll be aqueous. So really, when this reaction takes place, we end up with the same ions on both sides. Everything stays dissolved. There's no reaction. But if you're asked to balance it, I suppose we could do that. We have one aluminum atom, and we have three chlorine atoms, two sodium atoms. And I'm going to call this sulfate, this SO4 here, this sulfate ion is just one thing. I have one sulfate ion because I have it over here as well. So that works. That helps you kind of get these done a little quicker. Chlorines, I have one, and sodium, I have one. And then sulfate, I have sulfate here, one of them times three. So I have three sulfate ions. So this is a lot neater when you treat the sulfates like that. Why don't we just put a two in front of the aluminum chloride? That way we have one times two. We'll have two aluminums. Those are balanced. And three times two. So now we have six of these chlorine atoms. Let's just put uh, six over here on this side of the equation. One times six. So that gives us six sodiums, but one times six, that'll give us six chlorine atoms. So the chlorine atoms are balanced. And if we put a three here in front of the sodium sulfate, two times three, that gives us six. And we have the sulfate, the one sulfate times the three, that gives us three of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's kind of helpful if you have sulfate ions on both sides, just kind of as one thing. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AlCl3 plus Na2SO4. Again, note that the products, they're aqueous. So they're all dissolved just like they were dissolved when we started out with. So there really is no reaction here. Thanks for watching.